IBEW Local 177. Team Sideline. It's grind time. Yeah, we on the sideline. Woo! Tonight on this week 13 playoff edition of Sideline 2021. Tonight's task is really, really huge. Uh, Union County is an outstanding football team. Our game of the week has us in Hilliard as the 91 Flashers hosted the unbeaten Union County Fighting Tigers. Two teams who know a little something, something about each other. We're on the road tonight, uh, and, and, and we got to take care of business. And this is a football team. There's a reason they're nine and one. Over on the north side of Jacksonville, the Range Vikings look to survive and advance to the next round. Donovan Maslin's squad is red hot, winners of six straight, but they had their hands full in the graveyard with Wakulla. Up in Blackshear, Georgia, the Pierce County Bears hosted Dawson. We'll see if DJ Bell was as good tonight as he was in the opening round of the GHSA playoffs. Also, we've got the band of the week, cheerleaders of the week, play of the week, hit of the week, and your hashtag team sideline photos. This is Sideline 2021, and it's time to roll those highlights right now. Team Sideline. It's grind time. Yeah, we on the sideline. Woo. Oh, hello, my friends, and welcome to this week 13 edition of Sideline 2021. I'm Chris Porter. We kick off the show in Hilliard, side of our game of the week. The Union County Fighting Tigers putting their perfect record on the line against the one loss Hilliard Flashes. Director Tyler, let's roll those highlights. They told me a big crowd was going to be on hand for tonight's game, and they did not disappoint. Second quarter, Union County up by seven, third and long for Hilliard. Live Bennett hits it with. Dylan Costin, and he's as hot as a player when you see him in the street. 60-yard TD strike, Player of the Week nominee. This game is knotted up at 14. More bad luck for the Fighting Tigers. Still in the second quarter. <laughs> Get us some cough medicine because he just coughed that one up. Flashes say they have it, and they do. Ensuing drive on the Union County seven-yard line. Costin wrapped up by the Tigers' defense for a four-yard loss. Here will miss the field goal. Still tied at 14. Union County in the red zone. Raven Durant says holla at your boy 24-14 fighting Tigers at the half jump to the third quarter fighting Tigers leading 31-14 but the flash is still in this one Lyle Bennett in the shotgun Lyle Bennett taking his time he's gonna let it rain and then Mr. Distance says look what I have thrown into the wrong man pick six 38-14 Union County bottom line they ain't going to win this game big and remain perfect 52-14 First half, we were down on ourselves. We were really trying to figure ourselves out. You know, we we're on the road this week. Uh, the second half, we just kept, we stayed calm. We opened it up more, and we just made it happen on offense. Our defense stepped up big time as well. We uh we played hard. We played hard uh, the second half. The first half was letting up, but then we I was talking to the boys in the uh, locker room, and we just came out uh, playing hard. To the graveyard we go, top seed Reigns hosting with color. Vikings got off to a fast start. Opening kickoff, Jaquan King on his throne. Weaving in and out of traffic like he's on I-95. Is he gonna take it to the house? Uh, no, but it was close as he stumbles there. That was set up this. Mr. Butler, QB, keep uh, dripping swagoo. Extra point or the two-point conversion, no good. Six nothing, Reigns. Reigns force will call a three and out, but on the punt return, it is going to be muffed. Denzel Miller is going to fall on it. Wakulla has the ball. Very next play, Hayden Cleese, 23-yard touchdown run, uh, touchdown, touchdown, pardon me, to Miller. Spectacular grab, 7-6, Wakulla. Next range drive, Butler. Where is Butler? Give me some Butler. There's Mr. Butler. Once again, Mr. Butler doing his thing, but oh, ball tipped and intercepted by that man again, Denzel Miller. Reigns lost tonight, 32-27. John Paul II at Trinity Christian tonight. This game was all Trinity Christian. Elijah Crocker from one yard out. Elijah Crocker making it look real easy. Conkers will score on the very next play. The TC defense with a hit of the week nominee. Don't believe me, just watch. Boom, shakalaka. Sacking the Panthers quarterback. Fast forward to the third quarter. Trinity defense was not done. Trey Stewart with the INT. 
He's bringing it this way. That is called high definition television. This would set up a 17 yard touchdown run by Trey Webb and the Conquerors. Dun 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 dun. They march on winning a final 44 7. Ware County taking on Calhoun. Let's jump all the way to the fourth quarter. Ware down by seven, but Thomas Castellanos takes it himself, finds a lane. Play of the week nominee with just four minutes left. In the game, game tied at 42. Calhoun's turn down seven with less, less than two minutes left. Caden Williams takes the carry. He isn't touched. It is now 42, 40, 49, 42 jackets. Last drive for the Gators with an opportunity to tie it. Castellanos, who's been our athlete of the year, surveys the field, buys some time, looking, looking, and he's going to find James Daniels for a huge game. The Gators in business down to the seven with 20 seconds left to go near the goal line. You better get Castellano some cough medicine because he just uh, 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 coughed that one up. Fumble! Calhoun ends where county season winning a final 42, 49, 42. West Florida at Baker County. West Florida making the trip over on I-10 to a packed house in McClinney. The Wildcats lead 7-0. Quintarius Gaines picked off here by Carlos Jefferson, and he says this is a pick six, 17 yards to the house. Next up, Wildcats, Camillo Rollins, and DeHeaven Clark, and there's nothing heavenly about what's about to happen to this guy they're about to hit. Hit of the week nominee, Baker County wins this one 13-10. Bowles Bulldogs on the south side of Jacksonville hosting Gaston County, third quarter, and it was all about special teams tonight. Kayvon Miller, where is he? Whoop, there it is. He says it is Miller time. Is you rolling? Yeah. I might be taking that one all the way to the house. All bowls tonight as they won 27-6. Dawson traveling to Blackshire, Georgia to take on the Pierce County Bears. We pick it up in the first quarter. The Bears up 7-0. DJ Bell. DJ Bell to Dayton Baker. Make reservations for six. 14-0 Bears. It was all piercing this one. Bell, where is Bell? We asked in the cold open, would he have another spectacular night? And he's showing you, putting on for his city, calling his own number. Pierce County wins big, 49-0. Hashtag team sideline. Folks, the playoffs are getting hotter and hotter, and you keep posting those photos, showing your school pride on Twitter and Instagram using the hashtag Team Sideline, and we absolutely love it. Many more stops to make on this round two playoff edition of Sideline 2021 when you come on back.
tunes on our producer, Marcel's favorite band, the Pierce County Band. Congratulations, Pierce County Bears. A on your win and being our band of the week. To the week we go, ladies and gentlemen, the Pirates are ranked fourth in their class by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. The Kula Kyle Eifert just pulls out the truck stick on a poor safety right here. Get out the way. He needs a breather. Here comes the quarterback, Austin Adcock, doing a little different passes here to Dre Wilson on the sideline. Moving to the red zone. Efer comes back on the field and goes back to his old ways. Another defender thrown to the wayside. The cooler up, seven zip. Pirates break out the screen. Mr. Williams, where is Mr. Williams doing his thing on the screen? Doing the Cupid shuffle. Goes left, comes all the way back right. First down, Pirates. Back to the Kula's offense. Eford floats to big Mr. Davies for a 20-yard touchdown. A magical season comes to an end for the Pirates as they lost at home tonight, 29-21 to a regional semifinals. The Bobcats taking on University Christian. Good game here, top of the second quarter. Oil Gray for the fighting Christians. Just power this way into the end zone. UC went for two and converted. They're up 8-0. Bobcats will return the favor. Joshua Brown seeing green. Oh my, pop locking and dropping that one in the high gear. Pay of the week nominee. You see what lose tonight. 36-23, Keystone Heights at the Villages Charter. The Villages with the ball after an interception. Ed Williams, where is Ed Williams? Takes the handoff, and he's doing his thing. 30-yard gain, first down. Move those chains, move those chains, move those chains. Huh. Now the Villagers have the ball in their own five-yard. Brandon Kennard tries an option play on the outside, but changes direction. Play of the week nominee, 7-0, the Villages. Now to the second quarter. The Villages are driving, but Kennard, where is he? He's looking, and he's throwing it to the wrong man. Jeremy Miller says, look what I have. Taking that one to the 50-yard line. Oh, my goodness. But Keystone Heights, they would lose tonight 34-6. Oh, block that extra point, say block that extra point. Come on, Range Chillers, block that extra point, says block that extra point. Congratulations, Range Vikings, you are our cheerleaders of the week. We're back after this.
Florida Rat the Gems, favorite part of the show, play of the week, bowls, it's happening. Kavon Miller says it's Miller time, and he's weaving in and out of traffic like he's on I-95, takes that one all the way to the house. Congratulations, Kavon Miller, you had our play of the week, and congratulations on the win. Hit of the week, West Florida at Big County Wildcats, Camilo Rollins and the Heaven Clark, and ain't nothing heavily about that. You got our hit of the week, Baker County was going to win 13-10. Sideline 2021 rolling on for one more week. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Good night. See you in the morning on Good Morning Jacksonville.